Hello everyone and thank you for tuning into another video. Now today what I thought I'd do would be go through my fluffy pancake recipe. Alright everyone, now before we get started, please go ahead and hit that like and subscribe button. It really helps out my channel and it helps me get a little bit closer to my goal of 500 subscribers by the end of this year. Um, now if you are later on in the video when we actually go through the recipe, if you're kind of like, oh he changed, well it's because I actually recorded me making and eating the pancakes um, like an hour ago when I made and eat them, ate them. Um, I'm just on my way out so I took a shower and uh, I'm about to head out so thought I'd I need to make this intro but um, yeah, let's maybe get into or right into this uh, pancake video. Flashback. All right, so for the pancake recipe, um, it's actually quite easy and there's not a whole lot of ingredients that you need. Um, I kind of add different things depending on what I'm wanting. So today I'm going to essentially add everything that is in the um, original recipe on my website, veganvans.ca. Um, but sometimes I don't add all of the ingredients, so I'll let you uh, know on the ingredients that I don't add. But essentially these are the ingredients here. So I just have plain white flour. I have raw cane sugar, um, the Prana on Power Plant Protein. This is coconut milk flavor that I like to add into it. Um, a little bit of salt. Um, I do use apple cider vinegar and this one is actually with ginger and turmeric chili. So it does give the um, pancakes a little bit of a kick, I guess you could say, um, as well as some baking powder. So the reason why I add the baking powder and the um, apple cider vinegar is to make them fluffy. So it helps them rise and make them a lot more uh, fluffier than if I wasn't going to add them. Um, I add one tablespoon of baking powder, not half a tablespoon or I don't cut it short. I believe the tablespoon or I've noticed that the tablespoon has made them super fluffy. Um, they cook really nicely all the way through and anything less than a tablespoon, it doesn't really work work out as much. Again, I use a tablespoon with a full recipe or through the full recipe, I'm gonna make um, a whole batch today. I'm not gonna cut it in half like sometimes I do. Now, the thing that I like about this one or the thing I like about this ginger um, turmeric chili um, from Keep It Cleaner is I actually really like the ginger turmeric chili part of it. Now when I first got it I was kind of like oh this probably isn't gonna work out so well but it was actually completely by accident so I actually added it because I didn't have any other apple cider vinegar. This was the only thing that I did and I kind of do like a shot of this every morning um, just for gut health and whatnot but essentially I added that and it turned out really good actually. It You could notice it a little bit, like it gave it a little bit of a kick, but then it kind of balanced out with the sweetness of the protein powder and the sugar. Now, the sugar is something that I don't always add because I find the protein powder, adding the protein powder is enough. Sometimes I don't add the protein powder and then I'll add sugar. Sometimes I don't add either and I'm it's fine enough with just topping with berries or I always had peanut butter, so that's dependent on what you're wanting if you're wanting higher or lower carbs. Um, I use raw um, raw cane sugar. Um, I'm probably gonna add the sugar today because why not? But um, on, the, on the website it does have sugar in there so just know that of course if you don't add the sugar it's probably gonna be a little bit less sweet of course but if you're adding protein powder depending on the flavor that you're adding you probably won't notice it not having sugar. Um, 
I also, the raw cane sugar does make it less sweet than if I added white sugar. I've never, actually I have added white sugar once and it made them a little bit too sweet because I added white sugar plus the protein powder. So do keep that in mind. The, the kind of sugar that you use, I think will, um, will kind of differentiate, I guess, the end result. But essentially, I will add the recipe um, on the screen right now, maybe. And essentially, I'm just going to add everything into a mixing bowl, mix it all up, and cook away. Hopefully, I don't burn them today. But essentially, I'm going to add everything, but I'm going to add the baking powder very last. I'm going to mix it in and then I'm going to add the turmeric at the very end as well. Um, one thing I did forget actually was milk. I use soy milk. You can use any nut milk that you want. Um, if you're not vegan, you can use regular milk. It's totally up to you. Um, yeah, so that's one thing that I forgot, but I'll show you um, how I add that. Okay, so here is the batter there. Um, it's a little bit thicker. I like it a little bit thicker. Um, it's a little chunky too, so um, it's not too chunky, but I do find that just leaving uh, leaving it a little bit chunkier um, has, has worked out just fine. Um, and you don't really notice it when it's cooking. It actually, I think, cooks a little bit better through, so. Um, let's put it on the stove and hopefully I do not burn these today. Okay, so I am finished. They are all finished. Um, the second one I burnt a little bit, so I put the first one on the top, of course. Now, essentially what I do is I just grab some frozen blueberries. I pop them in the microwave for about um, a minute, 60 seconds. I don't know if you can see that. It's a little dark. Um, so I'm just going to kind of pour those on top. There. And then I am going to just grab some peanut butter. I like crunchy peanut butter. And I'm going to add two tablespoons of peanut butter. And that will be that. So I will show you the end result when I put the peanut butter on. Okay, so this is the end result here. Peanut butter, blueberries. It is all on here. So yeah, I hope you guys try that out and I hope you enjoy it. They are super fluffy, cook really well and really easily all the way through, which I know a lot of vegan pancake recipes don't um, because not having eggs and whatnot. And these don't have any egg replacements or anything like that. And it still works perfectly. So give it a try and let me know how it works out.